trellising up your vining plants is the perfect solution for home gardeners who don't have a lot of space and want to make the most use out of every square foot in their garden. Hello everyone, thank you all so much for joining in. This is Dylan from the 3D Gardener channel and I'm so excited that you made it here for this video because I'm going to be showing you all how to make your very own string trellis right at home for under $20. Many people have been requesting this video ever since my first video on growing cucumbers in containers and I talked about trellises in that video and I also talked about trellises in my five ways to trellis uh, your crops without having to spend any money at all or very little money. So without any further ado, let's begin. It's super simple to do. You just need to have two points where you can hang a line from. So I have a steel pole over here and I have some nails on this post over here. So I'm just going to be running um, a twine from one point to the other right and i'll show you what it looks like when we're finished so let's get straight to it so i already have the first line installed here these are some cucumbers two cucumber and a squash that i had planted into this planter that i recently added to this raised bed that you all should remember from my raised bed video i have to fill in more soil and i'm going to put more plants here so this line is my first layer of trellis and that's because i had i couldn't wait any longer to put this line because as you can see these cucumbers have already started climbing i put some clips to help them um, stay up but they basically do want to climb if you look here these tendrils right they want to grab onto something if you look here it, it like automatically will do this the plant will just find any area and start climbing if it has something to climb onto if it doesn't it's just going to sprawl on the ground but that's not the idea for today here's my twine that i bought from the local hardware i paid 40 dollars for this roll there was a cheaper twine that i could have used for 25 dollars for the roll almost the same size as this but that twine would be um, easily weathered by um, the heat and the rain so i went for this one which is sort of a plastic if you take care of this this will last you for years and years if not forever because it's really really strong and it's not easily affected by things like moisture it's not going to absorb moisture in fact it's going to repel moisture so this is the twine that we're going to be using for our trellis today here we're going to be doing our first knot on our steel pole i'd have liked it to be corrugated steel but that's not what i had on hand so it's fine this will work just as well it's a simple overhand knot, nothing too fancy, no big fisherman knot here. Uh, just making sure that it's, you know, it's fairly firm. Um, doesn't have, you know, nothing is putting too much tension on this. So as long as it's, you know, fairly uh, snug and it's not really uh, going to move unless you really try to make it move, you're going to be fine. So I just simply do overhand knots over and over until I feel like it's strong enough. Um, it's really some, it's the most simplest knot and you can think of if you can tie your shoelaces you can do this knot nothing complicated at all here right so just knotting it over a few times just to make sure that it's you know nice and snug it's not going to go anywhere it's nice and tight the main thing here is to keep everything nice and tight and we're good to go there we go now that we've brought the twine on to the other pole here i'm just going to cut it um, just measuring how much I need and cutting it. So I'm just going to leave the um, twine nice and, you know, taut, um, nice and um, tight to make sure that it's, um, you know, not too uh, wobbly. We're just going to make a simple, simple knot here, right? It's a simple overhand. Um, I'm just tying it a little bit different. I'm just going to tie it a little bit different because um, it's, um, I don't have a pole. I have to tie it over, um, you know, make like a noose and put it over a nail here. So a little bit um, different as in I'm going to make the loop first and then uh, put that over the um, the head of the nail and then pull it right so it's going to be um, nice and tight and rigid and strong enough to make sure that this is not going to go anywhere and if it does happen to fall that's the reason why as you will see I'm putting these lines individually um, tied so it's if one falls it doesn't affect the other lines and um, it's going to, it's just something that I can retie as we need to so it's going to be completely fine so I'm just pulling it tight I was going to use this big hole there but I decided to use a smaller one and then just double it over pull it tight and then just keep on making overhand nuts um, simply for um, making the slackness go away and making it just get a little more taut a little bit tighter and just 
strong enough to make sure that my cucumbers and my squash they don't um, fall good to go so what you see here is my first line that I'm tying on video for you all it's technically the second line because I previously had tied the first one at the very bottom but this is the general idea and right now the cucumbers aren't quite there but they are going to keep growing they're going to reach on and the tendrils are going to grab onto this line and it will actually start climbing and going up and up and up okay so now that you understand the concept i'm going to go ahead and finish this So there you have it guys this is our trellis that we just created so as i said in this planter here um this raised bed with just um concrete blocks i'm going to be putting some soil there and putting some more vining crops right here and as they grow up i'll just guide them and let them go on to the trellis that we just made here so you see super simple this entire trellis cost us um you know the entire roll there was 40 dollars. we used not even a quarter of it so Huge trellis that can do so many trees for, you know, literally, I don't know, like $10, $15. Um, everything else was just scrapped from, you know, what was hanging around home here. Uh, something I want you to take into account is that I used what I had in my um, possession at the point in time. And just my situation here. So, I have a steel pole, right, that's going down into the ground there. That could easily be a tree if you don't have a steel pole. That can be... Um, a post in some in your house in your garage you know it's um it's what you have available it doesn't have to be this exact same thing but it's more or less following the concept of just having some sturdy structure on one side another sturdy structure here i just put nails in as you all saw into here right but this could have been you know another tree or a post or a branch or if you have um, if you're growing just in soil because i have concrete so i can't put anything down inside there but if you have um, soil there then you could just you know just get a stick or something um, something firm enough and just you know pound it down into the ground right and just use what you have the main thing is you know don't go and spend a lot of money on something like this because you know it's all about being efficient yes we want it to be efficient but also affordable so that it can be accessible to everyone and you know a budget should never be a barrier um on you you know growing and having healthy organic food to eat and here we are just a few weeks later and everything went according to plan the cucumbers are trellising up really nice i'm just going to bring you all in close here so you can see what's actually going on as you can see here the plant is really happy because this fruit looks so so healthy nice and green we're going to pick these today because cucumbers as i mentioned in my cucumber growing guide um, container growing guide which you should check out if you haven't yet um, cucumbers they are better when they're young when they're not too old you get a lot better taste and less seeds to worry about and here you know we still have these are all the female plants so you know cucumbers they have um they have two different um genders in terms of the flowers they're not like tomatoes and peppers that are more or less self-pollinating because they have male and female all of the plants under the family known as the cucurbits that would be your pumpkin your squash your zucchini your cucumbers they have male and female flowers right so for instance here this is a female because you can see a tiny cucumber on it and then there's a small flower which once it's pollinated this flower will fall off 
right? Same thing here, there's another female here. And that's different to the male, which would be like, for instance, over here, which you don't see any um, small cucumber. So that's a male plant. So what has to happen is something needs to, a bug or any kind of pollinator is gonna walk from here into a female, pollinate it, and then you have a cucumber. All right, so it's very important. That's why we go organic and we encourage pollinators in our garden. And that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, but more importantly, I hope that you learn something in this video. I hope it's something that you're going to apply in your gardens. And when you get your nice harvest of cucumbers and squash and karaili and bodhi, feel free to tag us on Instagram. We're always happy to see you having success in your gardens. And if you have any concerns about your garden, send us a message also on Instagram. I always respond. I'm always happy to offer any advice to help you all to get up and get growing. Remember, if you don't want to spend any money at all on your trellis, check out my video on five cheap and easy trellising ways because there are some in there that are entirely free. Once you have the infrastructure at home, you'll be able to do it without spending a cent on trellises. Remember as well, if you know someone who could benefit from this information, share this video with them to help them grow more organic food for themselves and their family. Once again, this has been Dylan from the Trading Gardener channel reminding you to get up and get growing. Take care.